It's not just on Valentine's Day that nature's couples care for and tend to each other. Fundamental to rewilding transfrontier areas is putting males and females together to begin the mating game. Whether cheetah, elephant, impala or warthog, there is endless romancing in the African bush. Among all these courtships, many unusual but symbiotic relationships lie at the heart of healthy ecosystems. For example, the fig and the wasp, who are codependent on each other. This is behind me. This is a fig tree. So there's a little wasp, one specific species of wasp that can only pollinate this specific species of fig tree. The wasp will go from the one fig tree species to another uh, and pollinate uh, the figs. And at the same time, while laying her eggs, have a, a very safe environment for little, little wasps to grow up in. You have got a specific pollinator to a specific tree. And if either one of them uh, are taken out of the system, the other one cannot continue to survive and function. Then there is the well-known partnership between the wildebeest and the zebra. They graze and travel together during migration periods, both benefiting each other as they eat different parts of the same grass. The zebra chops off the tall grass so the wildebeest can get to their favorite shorter greens below. They also help keep each other safe from predators, as wildebeest have a great sense of hearing, while the zebra can see very well. Yeah, that's Hunter. Of course, there is one rather special relationship, the lifelong commitment between camp dogs and the Peace Parks Rangers. Okay, so Sean just got back to LMP and Hunter never jumps like that. If he jumps like that, he's very happy. Peace Parks Foundation strives to create mutually beneficial partnerships where all parties benefit and live together in harmony, both on Valentine's Day and every day throughout the year. <laughs> Hunter... Ha, 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 ha.